Hi lovely people, welcome back to another video. So today it's time to declutter and organise my cottage and it's time for a little freshen up just before the summer. I do plan to make a deep cleaning video in the following weeks so that I can really really get my home ready, clean and fresh and ready for a new season to begin. But today I'm going to be focusing on a few areas in my home that I really want to lighten up and just refresh and get ready. They're holding on to so much winter stuff that I no longer need and I thought this would be a really good video to bring you guys guys along and see what we get up to. So I'm going to do it room by room. The first room I'm going to tackle is the kitchen, so let's jump right in. So first things first, it's about time the coats disappeared. It would be really easy just to leave them all hanging here all summer long, but I'm really not a fan of visual clutter. And I personally find these quite the eyesore, but with such a small home, there's really not anywhere else they can go during the winter that leaves them accessible. I'm only leaving behind what will be used, things such as my apron, any bags, Dom's hats. <laughs> it already feels so much more spacious in here and it lets in so much more light. I think the dark colours really soak up that light whereas all the white and light colours really help to reflect it, which in turn makes the room feel a lot bigger as well. Next up is winter shoes. We built this little shoe rack here to hold the shoes that we wear all the time, but as the summer is now approaching, we're tending to gravitate towards the same old pair of flip-flops, which is kind of making the rest redundant and just a bit of an eyesore. Again, it would just be so easy to leave everything out, but there's something about doing things with purpose that I really love. As a child, I always move my bedroom around to get that fresh feeling, and I think that changing my home around as an adult gives me that same feeling. The thing is, is it doesn't have to be big changes, it's the little things that can completely change how a room feels, and also how it functions. I'm going to take a look at my flowers too, and give them all some extra love. Some need new water and a little refresh too. Nothing makes a house feel stale more than dead or dying plants and flowers. Our little rose bush outside, well I say little actually, it's getting to be quite ginormous, but it's doing really well so I thought that I would bring in a few so that I could admire them in here as well. they instantly made the room feel so much more alive and fresh. I recently brought these blush pink pillows into our cottage and I just love them. They are the perfect colour for spring but I also think they work really well for going into summer. They add a little splash of colour because as you guys know my home is very neutral and I like to stick to that, you know I really like having those more natural tones but I do really like the earthy tones as well and I think that they really complement each other. I'm going to remove all the big heavy winter blankets and pop them away into storage and I'm going to just try and replace them with some lighter ones for the warmer weather. I haven't actually got these yet but it's part of my plan but just popping the big thick ones away because they're really not going to be used while it's really hot. Now this room's finished I'm opening all the windows a little crack to let some fresh air in and I really like to light a wax melt to make the room smell really nice too and it kind of signals to myself that I've finished the room, it's like my little tick in a box. <laughs> On the way upstairs I realised I wanted to refresh our little crystal shelf. As some of you know I actually own my own crystal store but I don't often take the time to change things up around my house and bring in new pieces. I really love crystals, I think they add such great energy to a room, they're beautiful, peaceful and I think that these pieces here work really great. So now I can admire them every time I come up or downstairs. 
So next up is my bedroom. Before I get started, I'm gonna light a candle so I can create a really nice atmosphere. This is a new one that was gifted to me by my favorite ever candle company. It smells so fresh and so, so summery, so I'll leave a link below for you guys. If I'm decluttering, I like to make my environment feel nice too, as it really helps me to feel calm and just stay so much more focused. My main focus in here though is gonna be my wardrobe. <laughs> I got these vacuum sealed bags to store my winter clothes in. Not only are they great for saving storage space, they also protect your clothes from mold and mildew, which is definitely a threat in this 200 year old cottage. <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna bring every single thing out of my wardrobe and pop it all onto the bed. I find it makes the most sense when organising and decluttering if you make specific piles to help you achieve your end goal. So my preferred way is to have four piles. These are going to be summer, winter, declutter and a maybe pile. Once they're all organised into their piles, I'm going to be putting my summer things away, which are the things I'm keeping in my wardrobe for the next season. I try and do this in colour order or by style, which really helps me to keep it organised, though that is definitely an ongoing battle, I am not going to lie. <laughs> I know I've still got a few summer pieces up in the loft, but I will bring those down another day and pop them into this little capsule wardrobe too. These pieces are the ones that I'm going to be gravitating towards more often now, so being able to access them better is just going to make my life so much easier and just much more effortless. I've left a few lighter jumpers and cardigans behind because I feel the cold really quickly and you never really know what the weather's going to do here in England. I've waited until now and we've had quite a bit of sunshine but there are still those odd cold days. But all my thick winter woolies can definitely go away and they can go to sleep now for the summer. <laughs> Anything in the maybe pile I'm going to try on and then a decision is made. I was being pretty ruthless this day, so yeah, my wardrobe is only small and anything in there that isn't being used just takes up so much precious space that I just can't afford to lose. I've never used these vacuum bags before but they were surprisingly easy to use. I just put everything I wanted to pack away inside and use the vacuum to suck all of the air out. These can now go up into the loft out of the way until I need them next winter which feels so so good. I had some extra winter bedding under the bed too so I decided to do the same with that and it freed up so much space under my bed. I would rather have dead space under the bed than filling it with lots of things and lots of clutter. I think it makes the room feel less chaotic and heavy so this was a really great solution and one that I can definitely recommend. It felt so good to give my home that little bit of a summer refresh. Let me know if you do the same or if I've inspired you to do the same as well. It feels so much lighter in here, so much more airy and just, oh, I'm just ready to bring in the summer now. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're new. I've got lots and lots of videos on this channel to do with decluttering and organizing. I'll be sure to leave a little playlist down below so you can watch those videos next if you want to. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you have a really beautiful day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video. Cause you're my sweetheart.